So what, what is the situation today regarding the EU communication in the Western Balkans? Well, I think that the European Union must uh, more clearly and direct and open words explain what the European project is about and how they want to help uh, citizens, uh, especially the younger generation, to build a new future. I think it's not only a question of money, it's a question of giving a vision about Europe because I think the vision of Europe, European Union, is totally different, or at least hopefully also more convincing than the vision of Russia, which is not a very democratic and forward-looking state, and also this kind of new uh, capitalistic dynamics from China, and also not the authoritarian way how Turkey is run by Erdogan. So we should make it clear what's the difference and what could be the advantage for the countries in the world's Balkans if they go with their hearts and not only their minds or their purse uh, to uh, join the European Union, even if it some time. Okay, and so how can we achieve this improved image of the EU in the Western Balkans? What can the EU do specifically? First of all, they have to target different political or society groups uh, because the younger generation has a different idea about the other generation and make it very clear how we should address different uh, groups in the society. Secondly, to strengthen the offices of the European Union uh, concerning the communication, not just a question of press releases. It's direct contact with, contact with journalists, it's uh, going uh, to the countryside, not only staying in the, in the city, so I think. And uh, thirdly, of course, it would also be useful to uh, go to different events in the different villages, in different small towns, to support city uh, projects, people-to-people uh, -people projects, more than we did. We did and we do something, but I think more and more there should be uh, projects, uh, for example, between different countries, as we recently uh, heard of a project uh, between a city in Serbia and a city in Kosovo to build new bridges beyond the political disputes. I think uh, much more clever ideas should be promoted and uh, presented to the people in the different Western Balkan countries. Mm -hmm. And we always hear about how Western Balkans would benefit from joining the EU and being more integrated, but how would the EU benefit from uh, more integration with the Western Balkans? I think first of all it's a, it's a principle uh, moral obligation that all the countries of, European, of Europe should join us the European Union if the preparation had been done, of course. Secondly, I think um, we would uh, benefit uh, from more security in our neighborhood because uh, what we see it now is that many young people leave the countries of the Western Balkans because they don't have a job, they don't have democratic uh, uh, security, so to say, they don't have social security, and uh, it's never good uh, when only some elder people stay or when some people are misused who stay by foreign countries, maybe to steer problems and, and uh, animosities. Uh, you never know what kind of new conflicts will arise if people are not uh, integrated in uh, dynamic and modern development. If the people feel themselves uh, set back and uh, forgotten. So I think uh, the whole idea that it's always good to have a neighbor who is in, in a good situation than to have a neighbor who is in poverty or is in a conflict situation is uh, also available for neighboring states. I think that, that would be very, very helpful and of course the economic integration, um, the new ideas who could come also from, from the neighboring countries, new people with new ideas and we have many, many young people who have very good ideas, very good dynamics and energy and it would be good to have them in a common European Union.